Are you looking for a Smartsheet health formula? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to write two different health formulas. One is based on one condition or one column, if you like, and the second is based on multiple columns or multiple arguments being in place. So for the purpose of this demo, I've just created a sheet with some dummy data in. This is a portfolio summary sheet, or in other words, this is where we're storing all of our project information for all of the different projects that we're currently working on. Now for the first formula, or where you just want to meet one condition, if you like, this is the formula that you are going to need. So we're leveraging the if function. Let me just walk you through it. Basically what we're trying to do here is if a certain text string appears in this column, we want to return a different health color, if you like. So, so if this, and I've used the at row so that we are looking at on the row level and that makes us, um, when it comes to dragging down, that makes it applicable to the row. We don't need to change the reference at any point. It's very, very useful. If this status row is completed, we want the blue icon to appear. If it's in progress, we want it to be green. If it's on hold, we want it to be yellow. If it's cancelled, we want it to be red. Also, if it's not started, we want it to be yellow as well. There's a couple of different conditions where we want it to be yellow, which is why I've specified that here. Now, one thing I need to mention at this stage is we are using a different column property. So if I click edit column properties, we are using the symbols column type, and that's why we're getting these various different uh, colors appear. And that's why I've set up the formula as I have. If I did text, change this to text, you'll see here that this is changing to the text that we specify. So if I said something like, hooray, we are on track, as an example, it's not going to appear here because I've messed this up by writing in the wrong place. So what I should have done here is typed it in here, hooray, we are on track. So there we go. But that's how we'd go around manipulating that. I'm gonna press Control Z on my keyboard to revert those changes. But I just wanted to show you that we can basically change how that, that's displayed. But the symbols, particularly this kind of symbol, works really well for the health formula. So again, I've loaded up on screen. I will leave a, um, a copy of this formula in the description below if you did want to copy and paste it. Again, this is for one particular um, argument. You could extend this further. So if we had another, we've got four statuses in this drop down here. If I just show you this quickly, completed, in progress, not started on hold. Let's just say we had um, at risk as another one. What we could then do is just add another argument on the end here. So we could literally copy and paste this and basically plug that in here. And then we'd need to add, um, you know, change this to at risk. We'd put that maybe at red and then we need to add another uh, apostrophe on the end as well. But I'm gonna get rid of that, it's not gonna work for now. Control Z, that's another way you could do it uh, if you had more than this. At the same time, if you had, say, three values here, then what you'd essentially need to do is take out one of these if statements. So that's the first formula. The second formula, which you'll notice, has different results. So even even though we're, we're trying to run some analysis on you know the status column, in this particular formula, this second health formula, this is when we want various different conditions to be met. So we're looking in, in this formula as at status, along with start date and also end date as well. There's a few little extra stipulations that need to be met in order to get the different health statuses. So this is the formula. I will, again, this will be available in the, um, in the description below for you to copy directly into your solution if it meets your needs. You may need to adapt this somewhat, but this is the base formula. I'm just gonna bring up something here just to walk you through it. I've done a little bit of additional um, let me drag this over because I want to walk you through it and how it basically works. So this formula is checking the status of a task uh, of a project that should be and assigning a color based on different conditions. So if the status is on hold, we want yellow. If the status is completed, we want blue. If the status is not started and the start date has passed, we want red. So that's what this little part of the formula is doing. If the status is in progress and the start date has passed, it returns yellow. If none of the above conditions are true, it defaults to green. Now, you may be thinking, well, what constitutes green? What, what, what are examples of when green may be applied? So as an example, if the status is not started and the start date is in the future, we'd get a green then. So 
And now when I say task, this should be project, okay? So if a project hasn't started yet, but the start date is after today, it will turn green. S status, if the status of the project is in progress, but the start date is in the future, then we'll also get a green. And if the status equals any other value, cancelled, deferred, then we'll probably get a green as well, unless we manipulate this formula a little bit, okay? But this is essentially the second health formula. So I hope this video was useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. One thing I do want to mention is that I have used a tool called Function Assist to help me even write and troubleshoot these formulas. So it's got two really, really handy uh, tools available if you do sign up. The first enables you to generate the formula from scratch. You just describe the formula that you need, provide any additional information or column formatting, and then maybe enter some columns, you hit generate formula and it will just throw off the formula that you need to use. If you've already got a formula that's just not working and you're getting errors like we saw throughout this video, you just paste that formula in here, hit fix formula, and it will give you the, the working formula that, that you need to use. And you just, basically a copy button appears, you click copy and then you control V it into your sheet and it should work. Now, sometimes you have to click, click fix formula a few times. Sometimes you have to use both tools, but you get there much faster than if you're just troubleshooting or you're waiting on a response in a forum or something like that. So yeah, as I say, hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments from down below. With that said, best of luck and I hope you have an excellent day.